What's up guys, Slimecraft Warrior here, and today we're back with another episode of our Toronto Let's Play. So, um, you might notice some things, like this, in my inventory, which were not previously there. This is because I was kind of invaded um, off screen, but even though it was off screen, it wasn't off screen, because I, I did manage to record it, and um, I'm gonna show the clip of what got this from me and as you can see there's something new here and on the mini map we'll review everything we have done um, outside of uh, recording actually um, after i've shown this clip so yeah enjoy what was going on whilst i was not expecting okay it. guys um small problem um i was just making my way uh, to the underground whatever and I saw a Martian probe and now this is here. So one of the problems I'm facing right now is one, this is a very hard event, which I was not um, really ready for. And secondly, uh, since I did not start up my uh, program, my recording program before the game, I will not have any music. Which is annoying, but which gives us time to talk a little bit more. This is the Martian Madness event. If you have not heard about it, it's not really that, um, no, not really weird, because this is the newest event added to Troia. And as you can see, my Scourge of the Corruptor is having a hard time competing with these guys, because they have a lot of health. And I'm going to be in a fair amount of trouble if we're going to get the Martian Saucer, which is basically a saucer. Not a sausage, it's not, it's not meat, but it is a really hard boss. And I really don't like it not having music here right now, but we'll have to make do with what we've gotten because, you know, I was not really prepared in any shape, kind of way, anything, you know. Just kind of trying to survive and use the Scorch to survive. Um, it is really hard. I did not imagine it being this hard. Okay, so let's, well, at least when I wanted to fight it, like I did not want to fight it yet. So that's the main problem. Let's try to use the Siegler a little bit, which seems to do a fair amount, a fair job. Especially with its cluster fuck. Oh, there it is, Martian Saucer. That is annoying. Oh fuck, the damage it's doing, the damage it can do. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Fucking hell. Okay, so let's try the possessed hatchet for a little while until we get to the second form of it. I was almost trying to dash, like in Magicide and stuff, uh, Rogue Lens, because, you know, just finished uploading it, uh, my last Rogue Lens session. Okay, fuck you. Okay, now we're going to die, like really, like really, 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 come on, we can do it, no, we cannot. Come on, 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 come on. No, fuck! Ah, oh, we almost had it. <sighs> well, that's uh, going to be a problem we're going to face. Um, I have a small idea to actually um, survive this, which is basically doing this. Like a little piece of shit, and it's not working, because that its bullets can kind of penetrate my ground a little bit. Um, let's just use you and try to actually do stuff. Which, we, what can we use? We can use you. Okay, so let's equip our... We don't have it with us. Okay, that's great. Let's just try to use the Daedalus Stormbow and farm this guy because this guy has the best drops. Um, it's a damn shame we aren't really experiencing the event like I wanted to. I was pretty sure I wasn't prepared yet, so, you know, I'm kind of annoyed but I did I really didn't want to you know let go of this event when I had the chance to actually get it because it's somewhat annoying to get it to spawn and we're going to be able to do it a lot of times uh, I was actually um, wanting to do next up uh, what I was wanting to do was actually the Duke Fisherman boss because I think we can actually handle him but as you see it uh, did not turn out to be the Duke Fisherman, but rather Martian Madness. Even though I was not prepared at all. Let's 
Okay, what do we want to equip other than this? Not really anything. We're doing good. Um, just probably pay attention. I'm sorry if we don't hear any music. I already explained this. It's because I didn't start up my software for recording uh, just as fast as I was supposed to. So, I kind of have visitors over, and I have to um, do some stuff, which is annoying. So after we've defeated this guy, I'm going to have to go... Oh fuck, wait, there's somebody in here. Isn't there? Fuck you, man. So after we've defeated this guy, I'm going to have to pause for a little while. And after that, I'm going to look stuff up about how to not die at this event. Because this guy is giving me troubles. A lot of troubles. Let's heal up. Because I don't want to die actually. Come on, let us not die, please, for the love of god. I want I want this guy to die and then we're going to cut. Because I'm kind of forced to. I kind of get somewhat of Come on. Freaking die already. And we want the gear that comes with it. How much damage yet? Come on, 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 come on. You're dead yet. And that guy ooh, what the fuck is that? But let's just pause. Auto pause. On. And um yeah, I'll see you guys uh when I'm back. So basically what I'm thinking about doing um is we're first of all going to block it. Oh fuck we cannot. Um settings the pause off what we're going to do is put this here and then we're going to stay here and i'm probably going to cut away the audio that's from uh, produced from myself in this room because it's not that interesting i am um, you know kind of was not prepared don't this is not interesting at all we're basically just doing this to survive it at any cost so you know, oh fuck, we're not deep enough, so that's... Nope, that was not what I was trying to press. So let's go a little bit deeper. Do not die at any rate. And I'm just going to play some music in the background. And yeah, uh, we'll see what we got after the event in the main video that I'm actually going to upload. So this is just some segment probably. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the music.
And we're back. Um, after I've shown you this clip, my inventory is a little bit messy though, but I'm going to show you guys what I've gotten from all these things. So basically what was going on was the Martian Madness event. And we got some anti-gravity hooks, which are not really that good. Um, we got the influx waiver, which I reforged, and in one take I got the legendary prefix, so that's amazing. And we got this electrosphere launcher, which I will um, let show you in a minute. But also, as you can see, there's a lot of more stuff in this chest. So basically, uh, there also happened a solar eclipse, which is really cool because, you know, why not? Um, I could have summoned it myself, but I didn't manage to record it. It was kind of hard for me to record. There were a lot of people over. So basically we can make the terra blade if we want to and we have these wings which i think are better than the frozen wings so we're going to try to reforge them to at least three defense or three whatever we also have these if this oh shit death sickle wait kind of need to put on my little timer right here so that i don't overdo it never overdo it because that's a little bit not a sort of minutes to raw is fun but Sometimes a little, it's a little bit too much, so let's start it. Um, so, Death Sickle. This is what it does. It shoots out freaking sickles. Lots of damage. Amazing. And here, Electrosphere Launcher. Shoots out this. Creates a bubble. And totally... Wait, wait, does it explode where I want it to? It actually does. That's pretty cool. And it uses rockets, so I fought some. And this influx waiver is even better. Uh, if you hit it, uh, with it, if you hit stuff with it, it summons another blade which attacks it again. So that's really cool. And if you have noticed, if I now jump, you don't hear anything anymore. If it's good. That is because I've gotten a new keyboard. And I'm pretty happy with it, as, f as far as I can tell. So let's just reforge our Mothron wings. Because we have some money to spare, actually. Um, five, no, at least three, and I want something precise, not good, rash, not good, hasty, not good. Warding, yes, thank you. We, oh, that's actually pretty cool looking. Um, yeah, more defense, that's pretty good. And we have, I have taken some of the items in my inventory and put them, put them on this wall. So let's take this knight's edge. I know I did not want to do that. Because the influx wafer is way better. It's auto, it's really amazing. Let's make the Terra Blade nonetheless, because we can, you know, so so that we can say we uh, actually got it. Where do you do this actually though? Um, oh yeah, we need um, we need to make Excalibur first. So we make Excalibur, hallowed bars, not that, you know, hard. Make Excalibur, make the true Excalibur over here. And then make the Terra Blade, which is not as good as my Influx Waver, but you know, it's somewhere along those lines. But it's it's nice to at least say we have gotten it. So I'm going to um, arrange my inventory, and then we're going on with the next thing on our, you know, thing quest. Yes, um, I've arranged my inventory a little bit more. I uh, don't know if I'm going to replace anything right now, but um. Next thing on the agenda is checking out this here UFO I've created. Um, since we needed a little bit more space, um, you know, for NPCs, this little dude over here has already moved in, and I quite like this. Um, it has done pretty well. I've used the um, Martian Conduit plating, I think it's called, to make most of this. It's dropped by uh, some mob in the Martian Madness event, which we've already showed off, and some emerald emerald blocks and you know made them into walls made some stuff and living fire blocks to you know make the accelerators so on the agenda today was actually making well i i wanted to do the duke fisherman boss but since we've already done a martian event it's kind of a little bit you know too much for one episode and um i also am oh no wait she's already here so we we are going to try to make the to try oh shit i'm needing to speak um, we're going to buy the Blendomatic, and after that, we're going to place it down over here. 
and pick up which blocks did we need again i think it was mud and stone if i'm correct yes okay you can make oh no wait it's gel good okay asphalt which is a rare well not rare but it's a good block for fighting duke fishman because it increases running speed so we're going to make an arena but first I'm going to show you the amazingness of what is this weapon and I'm also going to you know make the electro sphere launcher you know give it some uh, some love so at least you forge it unpleasant yeah I don't really want to waste too much money but it's really good well not really it's well it's it's pretty good this is really fucking oh yeah and um, I farmed out the uh, golem so we now have a pixel, a light one at that, which is the best one if you ask me because it has more speed. So basically we're going to do two things, we're going to go into the jungle and defeat Plantera another you know, time with just no potions, just the uh, influx waver and the magnetosphere. Uh, no, I mean the, I'm sorry, the electrosphere launcher. And after that we're going to uh, make our arena for Duke Fishman, which will be in the next episode. Duke Fishman, next episode, everybody tune in, we're going to absolutely destroy the guy. I'm also thinking about um, farming for the turtle armor, and after that, you know, beetle armor, we already can make that if we have the turtle armor. Because, ooh, and our pirate. Um, because uh, the frost armor we are using is pretty good, and it gives the fun little status effect, fuck you. Um, but I don't know how good it will last like in the really hard mode defense because we need kind of a little bit more defense maybe I don't know I'll think about it um, and you know bring you guys back next episode so I found a bulb ooh life fruit yes we're almost there we almost have all the life fruits we need maybe we'll get enough actually let's hope life fruit nearby but where though where are you most of the time they're close to the bulbs let's you know not here life crystal life fruit okay where are you let us find you find it please please you need gimmick okay i don't care and um, let's see oh my there it is oh yeah motherfucking life fruit thank you I don't care about Mimic though. Okay, fuck you, man. Ooh, turtle, wait. Let's kill the turtle. And after that, let's kill Plantera. Fuck you too. Okay, so let's get this show going. We're going to use the Influx Waver and the Launcher, as I said. Let's first use you. And let's put you over there. Loads of damage, as you can see. And now let's go on to the main show. Look at this magical um new swords attack like after you hit him with this with the main like light thing source place thingy yes i'm kind of in a bad spot but i'm pretty confident we can win this easily look at how much damage it does like two thousand a second and there it goes it's already dead so yeah that's basically um this weapon and it is amazing so let's oh wait i saw another life fruit i'm thinking uh life fruit up or down down definitely um where are you though where are you where are you oh fuck, 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 fuck. don't want to die heal okay let's see where are you life fruit i'm thinking somewhere around here somewhere Somewhere, eh, we'll find it uh, someday. Like I'll probably just do it. Like fucking. Uh, oh wait, we can use this. Death sickle, yeah. Fuck yeah, it goes through blocks. So that's why it's also really good for in bad predicaments. I uh, can be in because turtles still do fuckload of damage if they hit you. Like 100, man. Holy shit. Let's get back to the surface and therefore to the beach. Um, I don't think it's too far away, so we can, you know, just we don't have to skip it necessarily. We can just, you know, 
easily walk there. We already have enough video for today, actually, because, you know, freaking Martian Madness. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Uh, I want my first experience with it on the series to be, like, really cool and well prepared. As I said in the video uh, segment, I wasn't re really prepared. Wait, let's use you guys. We need two more to be completely full. But yeah, I wasn't prepared for the Martian Madness, but... And we kind of used some cheap tactics, like really, really, really cheesy, not really cool to watch. Well, it was cool to watch the Martian Madness, but I don't know. I want to fight him. Why? I want to fight him for real, and you know, get more stuff. Wait, didn't I also get some? I think I got some other weapon too, but I forgot about it. Um, or was it just conduit plating? I actually, can't remember. But well, so we're going to use these asphalt blocks to wait. Let's summon you because I don't want to be bothered and let's make this arena and I'll show you guys why these asphalt blocks is, why these asphalt blocks are so good <sighs> but um, yeah I uh, don't know what to talk about next um, let's see what is on the agenda next episode will be Duke Vision and maybe even also the pumpkin moon because that's actually what we want to do next uh, pumpkin moon Frost Moon and then Cultist or first Cultist? I don't know. Doesn't really matter a lot. But we're pretty much near the end. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. So maybe talk about the new series I'm planning on Terraria. Um, the new Terraria series will absolutely be an expert mode. Fuck! He's taking your shit. That's fucking shit. You're fucking taking your shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? My pirate is taking a shit. That's um weird. Oh fuck, I hate it when this happens. You're at the edge of the world and like stuff scrolling around. You're not in the center of the attention anymore. But um yeah, next series for Terraria will be the expert mode uh, playthrough. And I will try to make it a co-op one. I'm looking for some guys. I have some people in mind. If I don't see people, I will look for more. But I have some people in mind, maybe they don't even have a tutorial yet, but as you guys may or may not- Oh fuck, that looks really weird. Um, as you guys may or may not know, Steam sale is coming, you know, uh, holiday sale. And I'm pretty sure Terraria will be in there, so it will be like, no bucks at all. Okay, but let me just show you how freaking fast you will go be going, man. Look at this. We are fucking going as fast almost as our projectile. And as you can see over here, if we just do our project over here and try to outrun it, it's not fast at all. So, yeah, that will basically mark this episode, um, probably. Oh, we got a wasp gun, actually. We haven't checked this one out. It's kind of a bee gun, but better, I guess. Oh yeah, I picked this one up. I thought it would be, would be fun to tinker around, tinker around with. Oh shit, I'm not really on point with my English today. But you know... For our final episode, I want to kind of try to fight every boss again. Well, I find uh, probably not one final episode because I also want to do all the events again. So I'm kind of saving up so we can already fight the Wall of Flesh, the Skeletron boss, and let's order them. Excuse me. Um, and fight the uh, Eater of Worlds, the Golem and a solar eclipse again and um, I want to fight each and every one of them again in the last two maybe three episodes I don't know how much it will take but let's see do we have anything left to say today do we want to do anything else um, let me think for a little while do we want to do anything else I don't know I kind of just want to show off this influx waiver again but what do you want to kill? Like butterflies actually really make me seem as good of a guy. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What is an easy boss you can like kill right now and you don't regret it? What can we kill? Very good to Good. Yes. Bam. I don't know. Let's just go kill Gollum again. I mean 
Jamming his boss summon is not really that bo that hard. You just go into the temple and you know kill him, uh, kill a bunch of lizards, and you get him. So let's just show off how amazing this thing is. I mean, look, like I can even go stand near him and like do extra damage, and his hands will not do enough damage to kill me. Okay, fuck you, man. You're pretty much dead, actually. Okay, if I'm keeping this close, I will probably die even though I'm doing I'm doing enough damage. I'm thinking really the new armor will help if I will get to it. I might even do a combination of Chlorophyte and um, Diesel Armor because that does actually more defense in general. But let's see. Oh, we got the Staff of Earth. We haven't really gotten this yet. I'm not going to use it actually because it's not as good as you might think. But look, it shoots builders. Pretty fucking amazing, as I do say so myself. They roll, they roll, 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 roll. Yeah, Martian Death Ray, I know, I remember. I was there. I'm uh, not fond of that memory. But yeah, um, I don't want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Terraria. Um, next episode will be back and we'll be fighting. No, not Skeletron, uh, Duke Fishrun. And we'll maybe have some new armor. I uh, have some combination in mind to get a lot of more defense. I know it will get rid of our frost um, effect and I'm kind of sad about that. But we might need new armor. And I kind of have something. I will not show it off this episode but next episode. Um, I've gotten myself potions over here. This here. Flask of Cursed Flames. Which will also do Cursed Flame debuff. So we will trade off our Frost Burn for Cursed Flames. So that we still have the debuff. But we'll see. Maybe we'll actually keep the Frost Armor. We don't. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm having to decide on that fact. But um, yeah, I'm kind of rambling on today. <laughs> I want to thank you guys again for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more Troia videos. And you know to keep up with my daily content. So yeah, basically that was it. I'm Slime Caporio and I'll see you guys later.